All right, so welcome to another rapid fire business story of the week. This is part of our rapid fire series. And today we have an incredible guest with us, someone who's achieved extraordinary success and is here to share their unique business journey with you. We're excited to hear their insights. So let's welcome them to the show. All right. So as this is our rapid fire series, we've got one minute or less to answer each question. So in a minute or less, give us the elevator pitch to your story and your life. Go. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Shana Pandya. I am a research astronaut, aquanaut, aeromedical transport and emergency physician. And I also work at a Canadian startup called Luxonic Technologies as the VP of Immersive Medicine. I also advise a number of companies in commercial space in a medical capacity. So that's fascinating. And I would love to dig a little bit deeper. So tell us a bit more about what you're working on today that you're most passionate about and believe will have the biggest impact. So I'm going to focus on three quick stories. So as the VP of Immersive Medicine with Luxonic Technologies, we are leveraging immersive technologies, virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality to deliver healthcare to patients with a concentration on both medical and procedural training and certification, as well as imaging. So we have created the world's first platform, um, digital twin of the, the radiology workflow in virtual reality. It has Health Canada approval with FDA approval pending. And we've also done some work with the Canadian Space Agency, which is the space connection there, including how to train astronauts uh, for medical procedures and keep them up to date on long duration space flight. I advise a company called Astrius, which focuses on nutrition and AI guidance for performance and optimizing one's performance. And then I'm also the executive director of the not-for-profit International Institute for Astronautical Sciences Flight Opportunities Program. That's a lot to say, IASFOP. This is the world's first dedicated pathway to optimizing research in commercial space flight. So this next question is one that every entrepreneur has dealt with. Tell us about a time where you failed. We often say failure is the first step to success. So think about a time where you failed in the past. What happened? What did you learn from it? I think the nature of the game when you work in the space industry is that space is hard, space is expensive, and space is trying to kill you. So any founder in the startup space knows that um, whether you're talking about human spaceflight directory, whether you're talking about human spaceflight directly or whether you're talking about services that support human spaceflight, I liken it to wind sprints where it's this constant start stop that you're ready at muscles tensed any moment to go waiting for the whistle to blow then you go all out at full sprint and then the whistle stops and you're tensed and then you're poised again ready to go waiting for the next whistle to come and there's so much uncertainty there's so much all out full effort versus waiting. And I think that's the story of space. And so my advice for founders within the space is to be uncomfortable with uncertainty and then always approach any challenges with the hypothesis that no problem is unsolvable. Your job is to work the problem, pull it what, whatever thread is available to you to start pulling out, dissecting, teasing out and working on that. So approach your challenges as if no problem is unsolvable and you will get a lot further than you think you will. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. And we're definitely going to have to have you back on the show to dive deeper into each of these questions. But for now, one thing that I often say is, and I tell this to my employees and the people who work with me and for me all the time, is that when a tree falls in the forest, if nobody hears it, did that tree actually fall? This brings me to this next question. How do you make sure that all of these amazing projects that you're involved in get noticed? What marketing and advertising methods have worked best for you? You've got a minute. Let's go. Authenticity and relationship building are so key. And it's so interesting because of all of the skills that I've developed since being assigned to my space flight and since taking on this AAS FOP executive director program, a lot of this is furthering connections I've already had, working with diplomacy, building connections, and then just authentically representing my story online, and then also figuring out how people best receive information, whether it's on LinkedIn and it's more factual, long form versus Instagram, where it's more 
rapid fire, rapid pace, grab your attention, delivered in a, you know, entertainment, entertaining kind of humorous fashion. That was so awesome. We're definitely going to dive deeper into this on a later show. And as we approach our last question, before we ask people how people can get a hold of you, how people can reach you, learn more about the work that you're doing in your company, and we will include all that information in the show notes. What I wanted to ask you is what is one piece of advice that you would offer to your younger self, to our audience, and to somebody, especially somebody who's just starting out in the same niche that you're in, but just doesn't know how to start or get going? Yeah, I think I would um, encourage anyone who wants to do what I do to work really, really, really hard. Um, figure it is what it, it is. My advice to anyone who wants to do what I do is figure it what out what it is that you want to do. Work really, really, really hard to get there because a work ethic is free. It costs nothing and then make space for yourself. Act like you belong there because you absolutely do. Amazing stuff. We're going to have to thank our guest today for being a guest on Business Story of the Week. And before we cut out on this episode, I wanted to ask you, how can people get a hold of you? How can people learn more about what you're doing and how do people engage with you? And we will transcribe this and put it in the show notes for everybody to find. So for those of for those out there who want to follow my journey, I'm very active on social media. You can find me on LinkedIn, Shauna Pandya, MD. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Blue Sky, Facebook, Shauna Pandya, at Shauna Pandya, S-H-A-W-N-A-P-A-N-D-Y-A. I have a personal website, shaunapandya.com. And then if you want to learn more about my business endeavors, you can follow us and um, check us out at luxonic.ca. L-U-X-S-O-N-I-C dot C-A. To learn more about my astronautics work, you can go to astronauticsinstitute.org. And last but not least, to find out more about one of the companies I advise, head over to Astreas, A-S-T-R-E-A-S dot C-O. Hope to see you online. All right, amazing. So you did it. Thank you for being a guest on the show today. Let me tell you what you can expect next. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all this, we're going to cut it into an episode. It will go on the Business Story of the Week page. So make sure you go on Apple Podcasts, review us, like us, go on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to us on Spotify. And this will come out in the next 30 days or so, depending on our workload and how many shows we have. We have had a lot of interest in the show lately, so we may be a little backed up, but the show will get out. In the meanwhile, we will send you clips that feel free to share on social. Also, the full episode, feel free to share any way that you like. The content is yours to share and put out there. We just ask that you uh, mark us and tag us in the, in the notes if you do. So in the copy, put hashtag business story of the week, link back to us. We would appreciate that. And if you think that you might be interested in doing more podcasts, live ones and studio ones, Zoom ones, Riverside ones, uh, there's a whole host of shows that likely if you did this one and succeeded, you would probably be really great at and a great way of getting your message out. So your host will talk to you about potentially getting you booked on a strategy call for a business story of the week's sister company, Podcast Cola, or becoming a YouTube influencer through Viral Mirage. Thanks again for being a part of this. Looking forward to working with you.